Okay, let's talk about the CHSPE or the California High School Proficiency Exam. So if you're watching this video, I assume you are a high school student in California preparing to take the CHSPE. And uh, of course, this test is extremely important. And uh, I'm not sure at the time of this video if in fact it's an actual high school graduation requirement, but it very well uh, may be. And all states have some sort of version of the CHSPE, but in California, this is what you have to take, the California High School Proficiency Exam. Again, this is at the time of this video, um, and these tests do uh, change. But what we're going to be doing is talking about um, a math problem that you should be able to handle pretty easily if you expect to do well on the CHSPE. So let's go ahead and um, talk about uh, math only in terms of the CHSPE. But before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. Also a middle and high school math teacher, and I also um, construct online math courses, and I actually have a great CHSPE math prep course. I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video if you think you might be interested, but let's go ahead and check out this problem here. Okay, so here is a basic, um, a basic math problem, okay, uh, that you should, again, be able to, you know, uh, handle pretty easily if you are going to do well on the CHSPE. Now, I'm gonna solve this, and I'm gonna encourage you to pause the video and solve it yourself, but let's just talk real quick about high school level math. So what are we talking about here? Really, in essence, you're talking about algebra and geometry. So depending on you know what uh, courses you took in high school, you covered a lot of algebra and geometry, and then some of you probably taken you know more advanced courses than that, like statistics, maybe even uh, calculus. Okay, but uh, the CHSPE isn't going to be testing you on that advance of uh, math. Really, this is going to be like the main foundational math that you're going to, it's going to be uh, probably the main chunk of the exam. So you really need to be strong in algebra and geometry. And this problem here is a real basic algebra problem. So hopefully you'll be able to solve it. If you if you can't solve it, don't panic. Okay, You just have to have a good plan to address your math skills so you can um, pass the CHSPE math section. But uh, let's go ahead and solve it now. Okay, so this is a basic square root equation. All right, so we're trying to solve for x. Now, I can go on and on about how to solve uh, various type of algebra algebra equations, but here I'm going to go ahead and just quickly solve this, and again, hopefully you understand what I'm doing. What I want to uh, do first is isolate this square root uh, part, okay? So I have the square root of x, so I want to get it by itself, and the way I'm going to do that is divide both sides of the equation by 2. So when I do that, I get the square root of x is equal to 5. Okay, now I'm almost there. I need to get what x is equal to but I have the square root of x. So the way I'm gonna address this is square both sides, okay? I'm gonna take the square both sides, and when I square a square root right here, what happens is that square root sign goes away and I'm left with x. So x is gonna be equal to five squared, which of course is 25. And this would be the solution to our original equation, which was two times the square root of x is equal to 10. And I can check that. I can check my answer by plugging in this x is equal to 25. I can substitute this x for my answer. And let's go ahead and do that now just to make sure that I have the right solution. So that's going to be 2 times the square root of 25. And we're going to ask ourselves, is that equal to 10? Because if the left-hand side here is equal to the right-hand side, then you have a good value for your solution. Okay, That's the whole idea behind checking um, an equation. So what's the square root of 25? It says positive negative 5, but we'll go ahead and just use the positive version. So this is going to be 2 times 5. And is that going to be equal to 10? Well, 2 times 5 is 10. And 10 is equal to 10. Okay, so real basic problem. Hopefully uh, the majority of you out there were like, yeah, this problem is too easy. <laughs> and uh, if somebody out there were like, oh, I, I don't even know what I was doing, the, the main idea is just use this as feedback, okay? If you're able to solve this, no problem. That by no means means that you're all ready for the CHSPE math section. There's a lot more math beyond this, 
But if you struggle with this, then that really is, you know, a, a sign that you got a lot of work to do. You don't want to go in and take this test and 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 uh, not do everything possible to pass it. Okay, it's too important for your future. Um, and if you have time, which again, I'm assuming you do, you need to over prepare. Okay, really have a high sense of urgency, um, and be smart about it. Go to your teacher. You know, get um, uh, everything your teacher can do for you, your school can do for you, then you're likely going to have to go above and beyond that and take some personal initiative to relearn a lot of this math. So that's where, like, a course like mine can come in and really help you out. But let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So at the time of this video, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years, literally have hundreds and hundreds of math videos that can help you out for the CHSP on my channel, posting new stuff all the time. So hopefully you consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate it. Thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, uh, what What's your plans after high school? Are you going to go off to college? You're going to go maybe in the military? Just uh, any feedback would be good feedback. Um, again, uh, the main thing here is to do something about your current math skills. If you're really, you know, anxious about the CH uh, SPE, there's time, but you're going to have to make the most of that time. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave a, um, a remind you again that I'll have the link to my CH uh, SPE math prep course. All my courses are extremely high quality, will really benefit you if you want to check that out. But again, uh, the link to that will be in the description of the video. But um, be smart about it, okay? This won't be the first test in your life uh, that's going to be important. You know, after high school, whether you uh, go to college or not, there's going to be the professional exams, training exams, just, you know, life is full of these kind of big, uh, important type of tests. So do the right thing, and hopefully this little video uh, helped you out. But with that being said, I definitely um, wish you all the best in your future endeavors, of course, on the CHSPE as well. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.